Welcome to my today's talk on reverse engineering the Cosmos Microcontroller Kit. The Cosmos Microcontroller simply consists out of a Atmega 2313 microcontroller which runs at 4096 MHz. There's a IR transceiver on the board, 7 I.O. ports, one ADC port and one PWM port. And there's also a 7805 voltage regulator on board. So why did I reverse engineer it? Well, the main reason was because the Cosmos language is really crappy. I mean, you cannot access all the features on the board, you cannot use standard loops, and so on and so on. Another reason was also that the code is stored in the EEPROM. Here we have less memory than in Flash. So we would get memory and commands. The main objective of the project was to program the microcontroller via ISP. Another point was to make no changes to the hardware. And of course I liked to get access to all the functions of the board. How did I do it? Well, first I checked whether the ISP pins are connected to some of the data ports. And I was lucky, yes they are. The serial clock line is connected to D5, MISO is connected to D4 and MOSI is connected to D3. I also found out that there is no data protection for the flash and I wasn't able to copy the original software of Cosmos so I cannot use the program of Cosmos anymore, but I don't need it. Then I also like to get some information about the other features of the board. The IO ports D0 to D5, the input starts and digital in, the ADC input and the IR receiver. As outputs I like to know the port of the LED, the beep output, the PWM output and the IR transmitter diode. In this graphic you can see the results that I made. The PWM output is connected to port B3, the D0 is connected to port B2, D1 is connected to port D5, port D2 is connected to port B4, D3 is connected to port B5 and so on. The analog input is port B1, the digital input is port D4, the beep output is port D3, the start input is connected to port D2, but to port D2 also the LED is connected, so that's a bit strange, but okay. The reset input is connected to reset and microcontroller, which is in this case port A2, and of course VCC and GND are also connected. And as you can see below, port B7, 6 and 5 are the ISP pins and port B3 is the OC1A which is used for PWM. What can the board be used for now? Well, you can use it as a IR development platform or just as a development platform for the Admiral Tiny 2313 microcontroller. Thank you for watching and see you next time.